shore it up there? Good thinking, Geo. Hey Thomas. Howdy. You just you, you smacking paint today or? Yeah, ultimately. Have you been down here yet? I think that's right, your 441 meter. Both of these are magazines. Let's see. Get, a, get a full view there. So this whole thing is getting redone. You guys helping me? Uh, I'm just taking some video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oops, kicking stuff. <laughs> so does John just want to put more artifacts in here, or this is just clean it up and put all the same stuff back in? Pretty much put the same stuff back. Okay. For some reason. It's getting there, right? Yeah. Where were these from? Uh, I don't know. They were here when I came last week. Um, the feeding must have pulled them from something. <laughs> well. So, welcome back to the engine room. We spend a lot of time in here. Now what I'm working on today is after we had replaced the injectors, I gave this a feel. Now you see down here, when I move this lever, that moves. And that runs the entire length of the engine there. And there's a matching one on the other side. And what that does is it it tells all the injectors using this shaft how fast we want to go. Now the way that this works is, say if this one's stuck but this one's free, if I move the lever, this is still going to work. This isn't going to stop the whole show. So what I need to do is take off every single cover, take off these covers, and make sure that when I move this, that's free, it's lubricated, and it's all moving. Now with the little resistance I've got, I think something may be a little bound up, but the only way to be 100% sure is remove the covers and put eyes on it. All right, so you just saw me take these covers off. 
and this is what it looks like. So essentially, what you need to know is that there is this shaft here. You see, it's got that pin there. And then that travels up through here. And then that's how that moves the injector arm. So if you have an awful lot of resistance in that lever, basically what you have to do is rotate that, remove the pin, the safety pin there, and then pop that. And then that will take this injector off of this shaft here. And if it suddenly gets very easy to move the throttle arm up and down, then you know you've got the, the, sticky, the sticky assembly. So, take a look. That one's moving pretty well. And that one's moving all right. And that one's moving all right. That one is stuck. So what we'll do is, show you here. This pin needs to come out. And then I'll pop this pin out of here and take that linkage loose. And then we'll see how that how that behaves because this one will not move. Something's probably just just tweaked enough to where things are getting stuck. So let's continue on. That's alright. Got a little bit of work to do on this side and I'll bring you back when I've got it. Here's one that I got working. So when you look down, you look down here, try to hold the flashlight here. This is supposed to push up and down, see? There's that rack on the injector. So when you know when you when you ask it you know, less throttle, it's like this, you push it in, it's more throttle. So let's come over to one that's that's stuck. Okay, so this one is stuck. Alright, so that's stuck. I'm going to put you on the tripod, and I'm going to use some penetrating oil, and we're going to see if we can't get that freed up. Alright, so I, I gave all of these stuck uh, linkages a good spray of penetrating oil and we'll just see if we can't can't convince them to start freeing up and work that oil in oh, got some movement there and back I'll do that for all of the stuck ones and see if there's any that I can't uh, get get moving. And that is it for the adventures today in the engine room. We're ending, we know a little bit more. Uh, I've identified we had four injector linkages that were stuck. The injectors we know were not stuck because we tested them when we installed them um, this one here that freed up uh, after some penetrating oil and I worked it back and forth and then we've got three over here and it's uh, it's this one and then the two at the end there they are also stuck and I've already got them soaking with penetrating oil I just need to work them back and forth, but I ran out of time for today. So this is something that I will pick up on uh, next week. And this is a great time to thank everybody uh, who supports this YouTube channel, supports uh, the museum in any way, whether you spend your time here or you, you buy from the gift shop. Thank you so much for making this possible. 
and we will see you hopefully next week.